Okay, previously I've estimated um, a trinomial model using a static configuration of uh, memory usage. And this was um, accomplished using code that I extracted from the Volupta.com website. Um, and um, we ran 6,000 steps, um, but um, large scale estimation generally is not ideal in when we configure the memory or the um, trinomial tree in terms of a static type setup and generally it's more efficient to use dynamic type const construction and I followed more or less uh, Espen Hoag's um, structure although he originally had set this code out in VBA and I've just translated it across to C++. Uh, in the previous video we estimated a 6000 step trinomial tree with these parameter values we obtained the value that we were able to verify in the literature and uh, we were able to observe the amount of time taken for the estimation. Um, so if I go back to develop the estimation for a moment and I put in instead of taking 6000 steps if I put in 9 steps here and run and likewise do the same for the Volupta style for the Espen Hoag style code put in again the parameter values are the same just changing the step size to being 9 as opposed to 6000 and the estimation then here is also 8, 7 so eight dollars seventy eight seventy nine approximately and um, again this number here is the same as what we have for the static code developed or Fabrice uh, Rua code okay now if we look at this value we can copy that value and we can verify that in our manual nine step tree that we get the same result for the American call option and um, I'll just paste the number here close to the estimated so again I'll paste I think it's just a color issue so font okay eight seventy eight eight again it's the same as here okay so the value that we obtained from both static and dynamic uh, C++ code is equivalent to the number we have here now how do I get this number here well basically I followed the methodology of uh, trinomial type tree um, I estimated the stock price tree as outlined before using this nine step nine steps involves configuring ten numbers if you like uh, going from the start to the ultimate to the final set of nodes and um, once I've set out all the stock prices in this um, trinomial tree so all the stock prices are recombining um, as can be seen here once I set out all the stock prices then I set up an equivalent trinomial tree equivalent in terms of its configuration so size number of I number of J and uh, the final node in the tree is basically the difference the maximum of s minus x maximum of the stock price so just highlight that maximum of the stock price minus the exercise or zero so we impose non-negative set of values here and uh, again if I follow through the second cell here down from the highest stock price so the second cell um, is where I estimate the intrinsic value of the call option with the second highest stock price and I subtract away the exercise and and so on so each of the cells here basically are the s which is obtained from the tree above 
and I subtract away x. Then the second, uh, the pentultimate nodes are estimated uh, using backward recursion. So basically, we're setting out the maximum of, again, s minus x. So this, because this is a numeric adoption, at each node we've got to investigate whether the intrinsic value or the time value of the option is greater. And we take, if the intrinsic value is greater, we take that. If the time value is greater, we don't exercise early. Um, this time value of the option, uh, we can compare that with the C++ code. So if I go back into our C++ um, snippet, um, maybe I'll use the Hoag uh, code. Um, basically, for the uh, time value of the option, where we uh, have the American specification, we're taking the intrinsic, the maximum of the intrinsic value relative to the time value. So this snippet here relates to estimating the time value of the option. It's also equivalent, it's like, maybe not equivalent, it's the same formula. Uh, the values can differ, however is equivalent to this in code terms to this snippet. Also, just for completeness, um, if we look at the um, estimating the intrinsic value of the option, for the call option, uh, the value of the call option in the, the final set of nodes is obtained by estimating the intrinsic value of the option which is the maximum of s minus x or s minus k, where k here denotes the exercise. So basically this uh, small um, algorithm here is estimating the value of the option equivalent to what we would have done here in this final or ultimate set of nodes. When we go back into the C++ code, Right, uh, it's worth noting the number of um, i's here. Uh, we start at zero and we go up to two times n. So if n was equal to nine, two times nine would be 18. And again, just to mirror that in, in terms of the manual calculation, the i here in the final node, um, the, the final set of nodes, here in the stock price tree, trinomial stock price tree, we go from 0 to 18. So that's basically our i starts at 0, continues all the way up through to 18. And we estimate the value of the, again, 0 to 18, we estimate the intrinsic value. Once we cross from the final node or the ultimate node to the pentultimate node, the second last set of nodes, the value of i adjusts to, in this instance, 16. So we go from um, 0, and we continue not to 17, but to 16. Okay, so we go 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 16. So i represents the new set of i's here, go from no, no longer go from 0 to 18, but with dynamic memory, we now go from 0 to 16 and, and we estimate the value of each of these nodes by using this function here, the maximum of the stock price minus the exercise and then we discount the risk-free rate times the time step and then we have P, PU, PM and PD just to see that in terms of our coding that's equivalent to this segment of code here. So because in the manual calculation we're trying to estimate the value of the American option, it's not E, it's else. Otherwise, if it's not E, it's got to be American. And we are estimating the value of the option using S minus K. So the maximum of S minus K. And then we discount and uh, we perform the backward recursion uh, using E negative R times the time step PU by the option value P 
i plus 2, i plus 1, and i. We'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, but it's pu, pm, and pd that's been applied to each of the preceding uh, contiguous nodes. Okay, so let's go back in, take a look here for a second. Now, if it was a two-dimensional tree, we would be going 0, 9, uh, 1, 9, 2, 9, and that's in the two-dimensional tree. In the dynamic tree, so not the the uh, two-dimensional, but the one-dimensional tree, we don't have a reference to uh, J in the same way. The values that we estimate here in the dynamic tree are passed into to these sets of new sets of I's uh, here. So we go, we can ignore for a moment 8, and we can think of the I being adjusted from 0 to 18 to 0 to 16. When we're estimating this cell here, this node here, so that's where I is equal to 16, we, we take the option value I plus 2, option value I plus 1, and option value I, just to see that again in terms of the code C++, the option value I plus 2, option value I plus 1, option value I, and we re we multiply those respectively by PU, PM, and PD. Again, let's take a, a quick um, take note here in terms of the PM. So PM, PU here is the value we estimated here based on this formula. Uh, P, PD is the value here based on this formula here and then PM is the sum of these two subtracted from one. Okay and that's how we in fact if we the nice thing about this tree once we've estimated that we could have if we didn't have this array here we can just pull it down because it's all the cell referencing is is preserved and when we pull that down and come back here pull it down again come back and so on and um, we do that we iterate that all the way along until we arrive at this point here where we um, have the initial node in the tree and when we investigate this value we can observe it is exactly the same as the value produced in the C++ uh, snippet both for the static and for the dynamic um, uh, configuration of the code. The big advantage of the, the dynamic C++ C++ coding is that it's just uh, uh, faster. Okay, so um, but again, we can verify that our results, that both models are robust, not only in terms of consistency with uh, literature, the Brody, the Temple 1996 results. Um, we found were relatively were uh, equivalent, or almost equivalent. Um, but we also find here when we break it down and observe the manual tree that we had set up in Excel, when we put in the same parameter values, adjust the step size to 9, and estimate the output that we obtain is consistent with the manual tree. And that uh, gives us a little bit of satisfaction that the uh, code is basically robust. Okay, so the... Um, the trinomial tree then is essentially a way of pricing uh, options. In this instance, we estimated the value of an American call option. The parameter inputs was our SK, so on, with at nine steps in the tree. Espen Hoag uh, code here for VBA code, we verified that the value of the option, the American call option, was 878, approximately 879. When we set out our manual tree following the principles of trinomial and generated the tree using U and using D, um, we obtained this uh, the set of stock prices when we estimated the, using backward recursion, the value of the option, the value we obtained here, 
is the same as C++, is the same as the VBA code from Espenhole.